my hands is not the color of yours. But if I pricked it, the blood will flow. And I shall feel pain. The blood is not the same color as yours. God made me. God. And I am a man. I never committed any crime. If I had, I would not stand here to make a defense. I would suffer the punishment suffer. and make no complaint. Bank of a great river. I seem to be standing on a high bank of a great river with my wife and little girl at my side. My little girl. I can also cross the river. An impassable cliff arises behind me. I hear the noise. I hear the noise of great water. I look and see a flood coming. The water rises to our feet and then to our knees. My little girl stretches her hand towards me and says, Save me. Save me. I stand where no member of my race ever stood before. There is no tradition to guide me. The chief who preceded me knew nothing of the circumstances that surrounded me. Safety. I hear only my little girl says, save me. Save me, she said. In despair, I, I look towards the cliff behind me, and I seem to see a dim trail that may lead the way to life. But no Indian have ever passed that trail. It looks to be impassable, and I make the attempt. I take my child by the hands, and my wife follow after me. Our hands and our feet are torn by the sharp rocks, and our trail is marked by our blood. At last I see the rift and the rocks. A little way behind there are green prairies, the swift ruddy waters, and the Yorbrara pours down between the green hills. Graves of my fathers. There are the graves of my fathers. There again, we will pitch our teepees and build our fires. I see the lights of the world and of the liberty just ahead. But in the center of the past, there will stand a man. Behind him, I see soldiers in numbers like leaves of the trees. If that man give me the permission, I may pass on to the life and liberty. And if he, if he refuses, I must go back and sink beneath the flood. You are that man. You are that man.